the AR. Uh, I built this. This is my you built this. rifle that I take to the range to shoot for fun mostly. Mm. Um, it's an AR-15. Caliber is two two three. Four five five six. This is a, the barrel on this is a two two three wild, which means it's specifically made to shoot both. There is a difference. There's a slight difference though. Um, it's got a Vortex Viper PST scope, two and a half by ten by forty four. I think is what it is. Uh, with a quick detach mount, so I can take it off easily. And I got forty five degree iron sights, so the scope is to shoot from fifty yards out. And then the iron sights, you can can the gun like that and shoot okay. through the iron sights. So just rest your chin on that. Yep. Also unloaded. So. Mm. Tapping. Oh yes. So how, how am I going to hold that one? You would you would hold it like this, and you'd rest it against your shoulder. Oh, okay. Because when you shoot it, it would recoil, and you want yeah. that to impact your shoulder. If you have it slightly off your shoulder, this. This gun doesn't recoil for much of anything. That 30 out six, if you were say we're holding it too far, like a far away from your shoulder, yeah. you could bruise your shoulder, you yeah. could dislocate it, or it could pop up and hit you in the mouth, you. and people have broken their jaw. So it just actually rested in there. Yeah, like right. You can still feel it though when you shoot, right? Yeah, this one doesn't kick very hard at all because it's two two three, so the bullets okay. are pretty That's small. Really heavy. Are you yeah. supposed to hold it like that? Yeah. Well, this one I usually bench shoot, so it's got a bipod on it, so it would. Oh, okay. Yeah. set on a table kind of like this uh, okay. but you can get forward grips where there would be some sort of grip up here that yeah. you can hold uh, when I shoot since it's on the table I, I grab the front right here and there's a magazine yeah which is gosh you have to be really strong to hold that right here so the it's broken into two parts you get the takedown pins and then the rifle comes apart like this hmm. this is a lower receiver this is what's considered the firearm it's what has a serial number on it and what is when you purchase it, you have to get it from a federally licensed firearms dealer. They do a background check to make sure that you're allowed to own a firearm. Mm -hmm. And then this is the upper, which is the barrel, the chamber that the round goes into, uh, the bolt carrier group, which has a firing pin and everything in it. Um, and that you can buy without any check. You can have this mailed straight to your house, which is what I did. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this is the only part they actually pay attention to. Okay. Which is funny, because in America, you can also buy these an 80% lower, which what, on an 80% lower, this part would already be finished, um, but all of this would still be a solid piece of metal. And you can get those mailed directly to your house because they're not considered a firearm yet. Yeah. And then you can use a special jig and drill this out to fit and build it, and then there's no record that you ever owned or bought a firearm at all. Sneaky. With those though, you have to keep them. It's legal to own them, yeah. but you can't sell them, you can't give them to anybody, right. nothing. It's your gun for life. If you don't use it, you have to store it or yeah. destroy it in some way. So there wouldn't be a serial number on that, huh? Right. No. By law, you're supposed to serialize them. I'm pretty sure. So pretty much you, you could manufacture your own assault rifles if you wanted to. Yeah, but you couldn't sell them. Right. Without any, you would have to have some sort of license okay. to, to manufacture and sell a firearm. So you don't have a serial number on it? This one does, because it, it yeah. came as a full unit. Yeah. I went and bought this from, a, I bought this online, got shipped to a dealer, and then they did the background yeah, check. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the serial number is right there. But yeah, it came bare. I put the trigger in it, all these switches. The magazine release, the pens, mm. uh, all of this, the grip on mm -hmm. there, all that. So it just came as a chunk of metal. Yeah. It's an expensive chunk of metal. I think it was like 350 bucks. Ooh. 